what's up guys today we're gonna be learning how to mix punchier kick drums and snappier snare drums now I'm not the best mixer in the world but these are some techniques that I've come up with okay first of all you're gonna to wanna to get uh, some good samples to begin with some good sounds I recommend the vibe VYBE kit and the Lex Luger kit drum kit just go google those they're free you can get them for free somewhere uh, first we're gonna be going over uh, transient shapers and then peak controllers which is uh, sidechain techniques and then distortion and EQ okay this is the beats with everything on the drums okay now what I did with the kick is I have some EQ blood overdrive which is just some light distortion and then a transient shaper and then P controller to certain things this is the kit the kick by itself okay that's with everything on it and this is without anything okay EQ uh, distortion transient shaper transient shaper really doing nothing uh, let me see if that's the right person. Yeah, it's just really light. Um, basically, what I why I EQ'd it like that and did the uh, blood overdrive was to give it some more presence, some more high end. If you listen to modern trap song, uh, modern trap songs, the kicks are actually quite full of frequency, just so smaller speakers can play them. Transient Shaper is just something that you can download. You can get these for free. I don't know if this one was free or not. I forgot, but it's by Shack Audio Technologies. Just Google Transient Shaper uh, plugin, and you can probably find one for free. Um, basically, what a transient is is the very first couple of milliseconds of a sound. So, like, like uh, imagine like a drum kit. Like, if you or like if you knock on something like the initial uh, the initial like couple milliseconds of me actually touching the thing I'm knocking on is the transient okay so like right when a drum stick hits a snare drum or any drum and then or right as the uh, kick pedal hits the bass drum or whatever that's the transient the first couple milliseconds and this allows you to control that or to shape it like it's called so I'm gonna turn these to half here and I'm gonna play the kick. Okay. Um, if I roll up the attack, it'll increase the volume of those first couple milliseconds. And if I lower the release knob, it'll lower the volume of any anything that comes after that. See? It's uh, not very apparent on this kick just because I have it distorted so everything's kind of full volume. Uh, but it, just play around with it. Um, put it back on the preset that I had. I made that preset by the way. It's just, it doesn't come with the thing. But, uh, and then you got the snare. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably because I need a new computer. Yeah, and I have distortion on this too. Uh, and this is actually a bus of a clap and a snare. Um, with the P controllers, what that is is uh, it's basically a way of con way of having s one other sound controlling some sort of parameter on any other sound. Most commonly, it's used for side chaining. So uh, you link the volume right here of like the bass to a kick drum, and it'll bring it down. I'm gonna solo this. This is the P controller right here that's linked to the bass. And you see, I actually have it. Uh, this is kind of something that I don't know many people do this, if many people do this, but I just started doing it. 
Uh, I just have a simple bass sound in 3x oscillator that I made. You know, go look at my video on how to make a uh, hard 808s and you'll find out how I made that. But instead of having it so the kick drum brings this volume down, I have it uh, so th it actually brings it up for a split second. So it has the high end of the actual kick drum and the low end of the 808 instead of having uh, the, low end, the low end and the high end all in one kick. It kind of... Uh, Actually, I think it kind of works better. It kind of meshes the kick with the 808 bass a little better. And so all you do is you insert a P controller on this drum, and then you right-click, link to controller, you pick whatever it is, peak, uh, P controller, kick thingy, peak plus LFO, accept. And now this volume will be controlled by this P controller this bass knob is the bass level so you can control what volume this sits at uh, like before any volume change and this volume knob you can either go up or down so like if I wanted it, the bass sound to go down in volume when the kick drum hits I would put the volume to the left but since I want it to go up I have it to the right Tensity or uh, tension, peak tension is just uh, how much it actually conforms to the sound like how much it hugs the sound instead of just being like kinda like um, uh, it's kinda hard to explain just uh, mess with it yourself and then decay speed is ha like okay once it goes up in volume how quick does it go back down to the bass level or if you're going if you have the volume or the bass sound going down how long does it take to go back up um, and that really is it I have also a peak controller like I have this little synth uh, the high bloop, 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 synth and I have that since this kind of was competing with the high end of the kick I wanted it to uh, bring the volume of this synth down and I'll solo that hold up I clicked the wrong thing all right, this is without the P controller. This is with. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but you definitely can in the full mix. All right, my computer's lagging, but anyway. Uh, another thing I like to do is put an EQ on this and like low pass it or high pass it so like at a hundred Hertz so you can really uh, knock out all that low end when you're mixing for uh, like how it's gonna sound on almost anything that doesn't have a subwoofer just um, I have the EQ so now there's no low end so now you know how much that kick in the snare will come out uh, on pretty much any speaker. And so the low end, like maybe your room reverberates low end, or maybe your speaker's low end is uh, bad or too loud, whatever, you can see how it will sound on like phones and whatever. That's just a side tip. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, see ya.